The first feature that we want to discuss today was the feature of the linear movement of this tank. And Larry, why do we find the linear movement of this tank to be so important in producing precision medical tubing? Well, part of it is repeatability, uh, being able to set whatever that hot gap is that you need uh, for your process, uh, as well as linearity uh, and precision. And you'll notice something that's missing from this tank. There is no typical hand wheel the old linear actuator in some of the big old crude tanks that might have been rack and pinion. You could have something as crude as one turn of a 10 or 12 inch wheel gives you a foot or something more precise, five turns for one inch. But in any case, there was a tremendous amount of backlash and these things were never designed to allow you to move a tank to and from something a thousandths or even five thousandths or even ten thousandths at a time. So we've removed this feature because we just felt it was absolutely inadequate. And with that, we replaced it with a servo actuator. So Larry's gonna demonstrate how we now move this tank with a servo actuator and not a hand crank. Sure thing, Bob. Well, I mean, right now, this the, the position that it's in now is for stringing up. Uh, and we have a preset hot gap, hot die gap. So once you actually string the product up, it's basically, touch of a button and it moves into your uh, to your preset die gap. You have these three speeds, uh, three, three increments here. If you want to move your tank in, say 50 thousandths, press a button. You want to move it back 10 thousandths, press a button. These are all selectable. So each of these numbers, these buttons can actually be pre-programmed for yes. a different increment very precisely and saved in a recipe. So again, what we've done, and Larry felt it was extremely important from a processor standpoint, was to make this a science, be able to go back to a specific point, because this is considered a validation point, this hot gap. And the, the great thing about this, when you first set up the tank, you actually teach it, where is the die? Where is home? Where is your hot gap? And where is a viable string up distance? So it's all pre-programmed. So it's gonna go back repeatedly within a thousandths to those positions. We could even set the XL D cell. We didn't want the water sloshing back and forth. So for that reason, we had people ask us, well, what if we have a glob of plastic and we need to move this tank away quickly? We're gonna be adding a push button that is gonna be a fast move back. So they'll hit that button and it's gonna move back to a pre-designated, maybe a string up position, but at a much faster speed to clear the, the jam up, to move it away quickly. We're looking at this as really advancing this technology. It's, it's something that we find and we feel should be standard and thus at Novatech, this will be a standard feature, not only on vacuum tanks, but water tanks for precision medical products at Novatech.